Welcome to the second Armenian build order I have for you. This is the Man at Arm Towers build order, or you could possibly think of it as the Long Swords Tower, since the Armenians do have the option of making Long Swords in Feudal Age to accompany their tower push. So, like many build orders, we'll start with six on sheep, and then we will just be sending two to wood. The reason for that is we want to get up as quickly as possible, and we want as many villagers staying on food, collecting food during that time. So we'll send two okay. to a wood line, make a little mule cart to collect the wood, and we can click the wood with the mule cart to get it to move as close as possible. Bringing in our boars, and our scouting is pretty good. We've found all of our sheep. We're looking just now for our ibex on the side of the map, and the back seems to be the only place they could be. There they are. And we'll push in maybe one or two, just to kind of help boost our economy. But we do still need to scout our opponent. And it doesn't matter which villagers you uh, use to collect wood. Or sorry, you use to build the houses. Um, here we just have a, just pathing. Just passing. The ibex and the boar. And now we've moved up to 14 on... Or sorry, 4 on wood, around 14 population. 14 vills. Because now that we've had a few more vills at the start... Um, not quite as many as we would have like in a duck build, but a few more vills at the start We can put a few more on wood and that will allow us to afford the barracks as our second building First one will be the mule cart second will be the barracks We will completely skip going to berries until we're up to feudal age And so everyone now is just going to be going to food until our last two villagers Who will be going to the gold mine to build another mule cart up there? Scout has gone forward. He's seen the opponent's base. He's going to keep scouting around. Another house. And then this villager will be going to gold. We're at 19 vills, 20 pop. Getting loom and ready to click up. There we go. And four seconds of idle TC time. Just the time it takes to force drop. Setting three more vills to wood for a total of seven. And these villagers are just going to stay on gold until we have enough gold for our three militia and the man-at-arms upgrade. And they can stay a little bit longer. We need 65 gold for the uh, lo uh, long swords upgrade. 150 food and 65 gold. So they can stay there a little bit longer in order to um, get that. Now villagers are going forward as we get up to feudal age. We have two nice hills to try to drop our towers on. Generally, we'd want to wait for our militia or man-at-arms to be here so that the villagers don't instantly take a fight and batter down this tower. Then we're just playing against the AI to demonstrate this build order. So, uh, yeah, they bug out. <laughs> they bug out real hard. And so we have the tower up. Two villagers down for our opponent. This is still the extreme AI. <laughs> it has somewhat of an idea of how to defend this. It's not a great idea. <clears throat> and here we've moved the villagers off of gold and onto stone. Behind it, we haven't gotten any of our economy upgrades. Great. We're leaving the villagers um, to chop stragglers around the town center, continue to drop farms, and continuing to do damage to our enemy. 5 to 0 KD. The only downside right now is we have our villagers just kind of hanging out in the tower. They're not doing too much damage to our opponent. So we did take out their mill, so now we could potentially drop a mill right here. But instead we're choosing for a second tower. And because these extra villagers have been on stone, we're able to afford that second tower. And of course the AI is still bugging out like little ants that have been smushed. They don't know what to do. Running everywhere. Red's tower is unfortunately not within range. And now we are getting the long swords upgrade. So that will move... Or that will upgrade our um, militia or sorry, man-at-arms, from having 45 HP to 60 HP, and goes from 6 attack to 9 attack. So these guys can 5-shot a villager now. These villagers going down so quickly around the tower. A little bit of bad pathing there. But, yeah. 16 to 0 eco KD. And the AI just doesn't really have many options. We push them completely off wood. We're taking their berries now. We've just gone straight for the kill. And in my experience, the AI can be a little bit slow to resign, but when they're in this position, they don't even have enough wood for another lumber camp. They can use the stragglers around their town center, but they also only have 12 villagers. 
So this is very much like I think this might be the best men at arms tower civilization. Japanese might have previously have held that claim, but the Armenians are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Let me know what you guys think of this build order. If you haven't seen the Monk Rush, the Warrior Priest Rush uh, build order, make sure to subscribe to check that out. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the comments.